Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we made a custom red oak printing block. So the first step in making a solid oak printing block, as you can see here, is actually to make this. Now I have a side company called SandboxRanch.com and we make a lot of laminated oak like this uh, to make custom banks for children all over the place. And what this does here is it gives me the option of making these things here because I have a lot of inventory of red oak and it's a really wonderful material for uh, making blocks. It's very, very hard. It's not like a pine or poplar or anything like that. It's very solid. This can fall on the floor. It won't get damaged, won't get broken. And because it's laminated, as you can see by the edge, that means that it's not very prone to warping either, which is why we do it for the banks, which is why it's wonderful for this application here, instead of just using one solid piece of red oak. Now the first step uh, to cut this out would actually just use the table saw, so cut out the squarish. But because it's a very small size, it's a little bit tricky, because what can happen is you get a kickback on a table saw when you're making something of this size. So there's a few ways to do it. Uh, the first time I did this project, um, I screwed one up and that one, and then after I realized that I screwed it up, I had to make another one real quick. And that's when I found out the easiest way to make this kind of stuff. My company can make a custom stamp literally out of anything. In this case here, it's red oak. It's laminated. Uh, you can tell the lamination because it's cut a few different boards on the edge here that you can see. And it's roughly an inch and a half thick, five inches square, there and there. Now the reason you do this kind of stuff is because you want something more, um, I don't know, not ornamental, but rustic looking when you do this, the impression. We can make the, this out of rubber, we can make this out of steel, we can make it out of anything. But the nice thing about wood is you actually have some of the wood grain go into it. Uh, so it's like free extra detail. In this case here, what the customer would do was roll on some ink and then you just press it down and you have the impression. Now in this case here, what they wanted the impression was everything but the logo, which is why you see it here. And you can see it again, the engraving is roughly an eighth inch deep. And as a result, what happens is you have a nice impression of everything but what you see laser engraved here. Now this project is a little bit unique because it kind of screwed up to begin with. I get so used to making, you know, a lot of custom, uh, custom projects for customers that I sometimes forget the application that I'm using it for. And here is, you can see what the screw up is. Now it looks, this one looks perfectly fine and it looks almost identical. But the problem is when you print this one here, you're actually printing it backwards. So what you have to envision is, uh, you know when you're driving down the road and you see the ambulance behind you, you can actually read it through your rear view mirror. And that's what you want for the stamp. Because if you don't have that, when you press it, everything's reversed or mirrored in the wrong way.
Now, just as part of a show and tell to show you how I did it wrong to begin with, I, I did the laser engraving on the other side as well, just to give you an idea of the depth that the thing is, because it's really hard to see depth on this side here, but you can really see it on this one here. So you can see there, roughly an eighth inch deep. And of course, we can make stamps like this as well. So stamps can be, you know, inverted one way or the other. In this case here, if we were to stamp this, if it was done properly with the mirror, you'd actually have the ink of the logo and nothing else. Other options that we can also do uh, when it comes to making this stuff is we can make them at different sizes and different specs. So let's say you want a round one, you want a rectangular one, you want one to match the logo outline wise, you know, we could literally do anything out of wood here in the shop for you. So finally now let's make the proper stamp. Again, when it comes to the laser, whether we make one stamp or a thousand, there's no real difference. The repeatability is amazing. And as a result, you know, you're not stuck just having one stamp done 10 times. You can have 10 completely different stamps made out of different material. In this case here, if you really wanted a really clean impression, we can actually make the rubber that go on here and, and here. So you'd have a block, a uh, printing block, but it would be rubber instead of what you see here as wood. After the laser engraving is all finished, you end up with a, a nice uh, bit of resin and other sort of residues on the surface of the stamp. Now in this case here, they're using ink, so it doesn't really matter too much, uh, but I still like to take that off. And the main reason is it can affect the ink. Uh, ink likes wood, but if you have some stuff stuck on the wood, it might affect the adhesion of the ink onto the wood. So it's very important to have a nice clean surface to work from. So there you have it, this is how we make custom uh, printing blocks here in the shop. If you're going for custom co printing blocks, any size, any shape, any material, contact me at cncri.com. We'll make it for you and ship it right to your door. <music>